a whole lot is going on and I definitely want to address it in this video. It's Saturday. I haven't dropped a video on Saturday in a while. So to get to the point here, uh, the NPC community seems to be divided right now. Like one of the main things that has divided the NPC community is this recent release of the NPC X SE, which stands for a special edition. It is a commemorative piece by Akai to celebrate their 35 year anniversary or 35th year anniversary. I'm sorry. However, there is a bit of pushback on it. And, you know, I get where both sides are at at this point. One side says it's a ripoff. The other side that isn't really speaking that often or don't really care. They just went and got it. And one thing I want to start off by saying as we get into the meat of this situation, I want to ap apologize to the people that, you know, I offended. You know what I'm saying? I, I want people to understand when it comes down to being an influencer, because regardless of how I look at it, I do have a level of influence, which means I have a level of due diligence to you guys. And when I did my video, I just went, opened up the NPC and put it on the table turned it on, made a beat, and was gassed up about it because I thoroughly enjoy the retro style of the current MPC X. As a matter of fact, I was one of the many people that were excited that they were doing a new colorway. And, and then we got a little bit more for the money. However, you know, the $2,500 price point is a steep price point, especially when and this me being honest, you know, I got I got one for free. Now, the reason why I put quotation marks on the for free, because it really wasn't free. I had to do content on it at a certain day when it was released. And I got it like a week before, you know, the announcement or whatnot. And that's not to be a to scapegoat it to on a car or anything like that, because I take full accountability for the way that I did my video, I think I should have been a little bit more informative about it. One of the main things I did not focus on, and a lot of people are, uh, and would cause some frustration uh, in the MPC community amongst anybody, if you know, if they didn't know anything about it, was the price point, which I didn't really know. And that was my fault, by the way. That wasn't anybody else's fault. It wasn't Akai's fault. It was my fault. And then I left out the fact that it was a limited edition. That was a huge detail to leave out of the video. Um, I seen a lot of other people did a better job, like Cooking Soul, which did a phenomenal job on this review. I highly recommend that you check it out. Same thing with Accurate Beats. And, you know, all of us, we was extremely hyped about it, you know? And I know a lot of people look at that as like, man, yeah, uh, these guys over here, they wouldn't have an honest opinion about it. Uh, nowhere in my review did I ever, and I promise you, I promise you this, you can go and look at it yourself because now we have EA Ski splicing up, uh, you know, video content and then, you know, making a point about it. And, you know, more power to you, my brother, but I'm not going to go back and forth with you about this. You know, uh, you're right. I will say it gladly. And the reason why I say that, because I must rather be happy than be right, because all it's going to do, we're going to be talking in circles over and over and over again. And, and then people are going to be sticking out their chest more and more. And then it's going to become more disruptive over here and nothing's going to get resolved. And that I ain't here for that. I'm here to educate. Uh, I have tons of videos on my channel that are based on the MPC live and the one or my bad, the live one, the studio and so forth. So, yeah, I must rather spend more time on that than just going back in forth. It, it just doesn't make any sense to do that. It really doesn't. Because it won't really change anything, especially when someone is already stuck in their ways and they feel a certain kind of way. And by all means, you have your right to do so. I can't control people. I can only control my situation over here. And I'm very thankful for the situation that I have over here because I have an audience that continuously watches the content that you know I put out. And I work very hard on it. Like if you just check my stats, it might not match up to being a multi-platinum Grammy winning producer or anything like that. 
However, I've done the work basically for the future of any producer that want to get into the NPC and perhaps they might get a Grammy or something like that. I'll be happy of, you know, with that. I'm never knocking someone for what they've done. Just because I don't know who you are, dude, doesn't mean that I'm sitting here trying to disrespect you or diss you. If you took that as a diss, then I do apologize for that because that's just not me. I I'm not the type of person that will, you know, disrespect someone just so they can feel little. That's not my style at all. And you can check my stats. Now, I, I'm not going to say and, and beat down or punch down on dude for making his videos about me or whatever. And for those who think that I might be a shill, I mean, you have every right to think that. If you look at, you know, the traffic that's been on this channel in the last three years, you know, 2020, I got an MPC one. And for those who don't know, like I had done a video on me being a shill before and clarified it that I spent money all that was bought by me. So if that's a talking point for EA Ski that I've received every single NPC for free, that's not true. And again, even if I did receive an NPC, I still didn't get it for free. I had to do videos. I've put out thousands of videos, like I think 2200 plus, and that's just on this channel because I have multiple channels. <sighs> Back to it though, the MPC one came out 2020. I was very excited about it because I haven't owned an MPC in years. It's been a while since the 2000 XL. You know, I have a 2000 video on here. I've been working with MPCs for a long time, but that was my first MPC in a long time. And I bought two of them, two of them from Sweetwater. I had the receipt still. The MPC Live 2 was announced a little later. I was like, wow, like, you know, I made fun of it at first, of course, <laughs> you know. That, that video is this, so, you know, I'm not just out here just championing and hyping up stuff. I made fun of it. However, when I, I saw the NPC Live 2, I was floored because it was a portable NPC that had CB and gate and, you know, the workflow was improving because they just updated the firmware. And I even had a video around that time where I was mad that I didn't get the firmware update because I thought I deserved. And, and that, you know, hold off on that. But we'll talk more about that a little later. But, you know, nonetheless, months down the line, the MPC Live 2 Retro Edition came out. And this is a very important story because, you know, that's where we arrive at the MPC XSE. The MPC Live 2 came out, but it was exclusive through Zounds.com. Bought it from Zounds, talked to Billy over there at Zounds, and then did a whole on video about it in review. And then, you know, they asked me to be a part of their affiliate program. Tons, tons of people enjoyed that video. And I was lucky enough to make income and people trusting my opinion about it and, and just being excited about it. So it was cool. And I had worked so hard. That was the first time I ever really seen any money in my entire life, like real money. And, you know, from there, I continued to do tutorials and stuff like that and just did it off the strength. I wasn't even charging people. But, you know, as time goes past, you know, things happen. And then Akai reached out to me. Then I got an MPC for the free. I got, end up getting, I believe the MPC studio. And we all know how that went, even though it was a controller meant for beginners or people to get into the MPC workflow. People were upset about that too. You know, the same community and same stuff. I left it alone and just, you know, gave my input. And that's the one thing that was a little different, you know, from, a cop being a company, they don't take critiques and just throw it away. They actually listen to those critiques. They're one of the few companies that do listen. Trust me when I say this. Other companies, they'll just give you the finger. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. But, you know, fast forward, the success of that led to the MPC X SE because a lot of people were like, man, could they please refresh the X in some way, in some shape or form? So there was a demand for that. And Akai delivered with this one right here, maybe a little too late, but hey, better late than never, right? And they refreshed it with four gigs of RAM, uh, 48 gigs of hard drive space. Of course, they have the new standalone plug-in ecosystem, which is, is phenomenal. That, that speaks about the potential of the current generation of NPCs. All right, let's fast forward it a bit to right now. So... As of late, you know, with all the situation at hand, you know, you have the divided community and people are complaining on one side, making videos, complaining about, you know, sound and so forth or whatever. And then you have people that are just talking about, man, your 
selling water to a dolphin. It's, I've seen so many different uh, references and whatnot about people not being happy about it. Uh, one thing that I would like to say that's kind of different about this situation, you know, again, nobody's really forcing no one to purchase it. If you don't think it's a good investment for you, I mean, all this stuff, this music stuff is luxury at the end of the day. You don't have to buy it out. I didn't say you should buy it in my initial first impression video where I cooked up and made a beat. I didn't say that in many of my live streams either. People even asked me, do you think it's worth the money? And I was like, man, well, I like it, but I'm not going to tell you that you should buy it. You know, I want you to make that decision on your own. And that's pretty much my format for this channel. I, I don't care if it's very bad. I review something very bad. Or, or if I review something very good, uh, what the general public will do is they will tune in and see my opinion, see what I cook up and so forth. And then they'll give the due diligence uh, that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and cap on, you know, whatever the product is. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Kai MPC stuff or anything like that. It could be any company. So, yeah, I've earned that level of respect through tons of work and doing videos where it's tutorials and, you know, not abandoning the gear unless it's just not worth my time. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time where I might not do a tutorial. And some things that, you know, I don't really care for, I've still done a beginner's guide for because why not? Because there's still people that might enjoy it, right? And they might just want to hear my perspective or, you know, they, they respect the way I teach. And again, that's a blessing. I thank you guys for watching that type of content too. But long story short though, there's a lot of content out there that has splices of what I say and stuff like that. And I'm just saying, look, due diligence, watch my content. When I create content where it's reaction, positive or negative, I still put a referencing point in the description. And don't get it twisted, Akai isn't the only company that has different colorways right now. It's actually not ironic, but something that's happened before. Korg has a mini Korg that's crystal that you see right now on the screen. And it's a limited edition version of the micro Korg, which is one of their best selling scents of all time. And it looks really dope. I'm a little hype about that, I ain't gonna lie. Not to mention, Acheria has their own limited edition style, different colorway micro freak, which is also a very fire scent. I just had to throw that in there, I'm just saying. I want one too. It's pretty much an industry thing, but to the point that I want to make, I want you guys that are doing controversial videos and something that I know about doing controversial videos is this. With this whole controversy and, and influencers and stuff like that, we all do diligence to our audience. However, for the people that are putting out videos, you owe a due diligence to not just splice up our content and react the way that you want and you know paint a narrative the way you want. And that due diligence is link people to the full content, please, in the description box so that they can see the whole entire story or hear the whole entire story from the other side and then for them to make a decision on themselves. Like, we don't need a cult-like following. I like free-minded people as well as the next person. I'm not out here trying to just cash out. Please believe it. I'm not rich by no means. I am doing everything in my power to be rich. However, I'm not rich, okay? So there's no reason for me to lie. And even if I was, per se, to make money or whatnot, I'm not gonna make money in just, you know, championing a brand or whatnot as I would educational-wise. Like, I would do helpful videos and try to get ad revenue, even though that's questionable right now, or do courses or something like that, which I do have a course on NPC Live too, and and many other things that I will have linked in the description box. Yes, I did plug in our company. By all means, have due diligence. Uh, and, you know, I Ski, you, you can feel the way that you want to feel. I'm not going to be going back and forth with you. I think that is counterintuitive. We'll be going back and forth forever and nothing will be resolved. And I hope hopefully you can resolve this issue uh, personally uh, with you know, Andy Mac or whomever you have beef with, because, you know, a lot of content creators right now, uh, they have spoken out and they're just trying to be silent about it. And, you know, some people like Bolo, shout out to Bolo. Um, we're, we're just, we're 
you know, holding ourselves accountable to the public for whatever uh, the perspective or the narrative has been pushed. I do apologize humbly from the bottom of my heart to my audience if you felt like I was shilling to you guys. That ain't my cup of tea. You guys already know that. 